Hey, I'm Nick Caruso, and you're watching This Week in Gear. These are just some of our favorite product news items from this week, including the 11 best gym shoes right now, a surprise from Jeep, and a watch collaboration you won't want to miss. Now, if you're interested in any more info about any of what we talk about in this episode, make sure you visit the description below. We'll pop some links down there to our online coverage so you can read up in your own time. For now, let's get started. Having a pair of dedicated gym shoes is a very good idea. Not only will it save you precious miles on your very expensive runners, but shoes designed for the gym are purpose-built for specific exercises. They're closer to the ground, for one, and provide better stability, plus a more reliable platform for lifting. Now, one great tip from our outdoor and fitness team is that unlike running shoes, which often work better and more comfortable with extra room in the toe box, you'll actually want to get gym shoes that fit you snugly all the way around. Get shoes with a toe box that fits just right. It'll be far more stable than a shoe your toes can slip around inside. Now, this list is divided into two categories, weightlifting shoes and all-purpose shoes, all tested by the team. We'll start with weightlifting. First on the list is the $100 Nike Metcon 5, the fifth generation of the Metcon, which our team calls very close to the perfect weightlifting shoe. It's also great for general weightlifting, uh, but especially for CrossFit workouts. The Metcon can grip very hard, and since there's not a lot of padding underfoot, they're more stable for tuck jumps and the like. There's a sixth eyelet for extra tight lacing, and included are a pair of heel inserts you can add when you go lifting. Next, the Reebok CrossFit Nano 9 is, unsurprisingly, great for CrossFitters. It's a $130 award-winning shoe that's made with a breathable but tough material on the upper. The CrossFit community provided feedback that informed design choices, so the outsole has a clever sort of split form factor that provides both stability and grip. There's also minimal drop and, contrary to earlier advice, a wider toe box for a little extra stability in specific exercises. No bull. These are clay trainers from No Bull. They're 129 bucks, and they're made with a super rugged but very breathable upper. Now, balance support is bolstered by this high carbon lateral and median guard pairing, and the shoes feature a four millimeter drop. The Henry Mesh shoe by York Athletics is a unisex model that weighs in at only 8.7 ounces, yet features a heavy offset, a nine millimeter drop. They're 99 bucks, and originally designed for fighters, but the breathable upper is great for all types of exercise. Next, the $120 Under Armour Tri-Base Rain, whose rubber sole wraps all the way around the edge and helps with things like rope climbs. The uppers are abrasion resistant, and though these are definitely not running shoes, there is a cushy foam midsole, and it's best for weight training. The Mizuno TC01 training shoe rings in at 140 bucks, and it's the company's first dedicated gym shoe. It's got a four millimeter drop and an 11.8 ounce weight that are perfect for weightlifting. The team also notes that these are great for specific exercises like squats and Olympic lifts. We've reached the second half of the list. The rest are made for more general purpose gym use and not weight training specifically, starting with the APL Tech Loom Pro, which is a running-ish shoe that costs 140 bucks, but they're not made for long runs. The woven upper features a sock liner and an integrated tongue that doesn't move around, and the laces sort of tie underneath for aesthetic reasons, but can be reconfigured on top. Still, an eight millimeter drop is larger than a lot of shoes on this list, but they performed well with squats and spider planks and other exercises like that. The Adidas Alpha Bounce Plus. These are $100 and feature cushioning that other shoes on the list do not. Plus, they have a Goodyear rubber outsole and a breathable mesh upper. They're fine for treadmill use if you're gonna mix it up, but they also do a great job with multi-directional movement. Now, the guys on the team made sure to note that they highly recommend these for high-intensity interval training workouts and classes like Barry's Boot Camp. The Ultra Solstice XT training shoes at $110 are as comfortable during compound lifts as they are cardio workouts. 
The toe box is, once again, more generous than others, and an abrasion-resistant mesh upper is very breathable. It features a trick liquid rubber cage to brace your ankles, too. This is a budget pick. The New Balance 40 V1 Minimus Cross Trainers start at just $77, but they're run-friendly, comfortable for weightlifting, and all the rest. They've got a thin, grippy sole, yet uh, the shoes weigh in at just 10.2 ounces. The synthetic mesh on the upper also adds extra comfort during a versatile workout. Lastly, the Reebok HIIT TRs. These are $90 shoes that are, as you may have surmised from the name, geared toward high intensity interval training. The outsole is made of this bifurcated rubber that's adept at multi-directional movement, and there's a midfoot cage, which paired with a cushioned collar, keep your feet very stable. Now, what shoes do you wear to the gym? Pop uh, your picks in the comments below, and if your running shoes are doing double duty, maybe consider giving them a break. 2019 was the best sales year in Jeep Grand Cherokee history. The brand moved a quarter million units. Now that, despite the current generation's age, clocking in at a full decade. But there's been no talk of replacing the aging SUV, at least until Fiat Chrysler design chief Ralph Gilles let the cat out of the bag during a casual press interview on Facebook Live. He also went on to call the Grand Cherokee, along with the Ram pickup truck, a quote, prized profit vehicle. And that makes an update risky, no matter how necessary it might be, especially with other high-profile SUVs launching recently, like the Defender, the Bronco, even Jeep's own Gladiator, and uh, the recent update to the Wrangler. It means the segment is thriving with competition. Now, there are no details on when we might see a new Grand Cherokee, but it's not out of the question that it could bow as early as next month at the New York Auto Show, so stay tuned for more on that front. And if you have any theories about what we should expect from the next Grand Cherokee, please, by all means, chime in below. Jack Mason, no newcomer to outdoor watches. And now the brand has teamed with Taylor Stitch to produce the Aviator Multiscale Chronograph. At just 595, it's a great bargain for a lot of reasons. The watch is inspired by 1930s era watches and the golden age of aviation. You can check out wire lugs and a bi-compax chronograph, meaning there are two dials on the watch face. All of this is packed into a 42 millimeter case with an onion crown, date wheel, dual tachymeter and telemeter scales, and 100 meters of water resistance. Now, the cool stuff keeps coming. This chrono also ships with a tan leather strap and a blue canvas option. Both are 20 millimeters wide and feature quick release pins. Inside, the watch is a Swiss Ronda Z50 quartz movement, and all considered, it's a very handsome contender for your next everyday watch. Or mine. Maybe both. And now I'm going to turn it over to my colleague Ryan Brower, who will be introducing a new weekly segment. This is what we call a deal of the week. Now, we report on tons of deals on the best gear day in and day out, but some simply float to the top. This will be Ryan's pick for the very best deal you have to check out right now. We'll link to the deal in the description below. This week, our favorite deal of the week comes from G-Shock on Amazon. It's the G-Shock DW5600 E1V. It's basically one of their entry-level watches. Normally, it's $70. This week on Amazon, it's only $40. Essentially, you're getting all the bells and whistles you would expect from a G-Shock watch. Afterglow, 200 meters of water resistance, shock protection, all the alarms, and a lot more, but you're not having to pay a bigger G-Shock price. You can check out the link below in the description to shop this deal now. That's this week's gear. Hopefully you discovered something you love. Let us know below what you think and we'll see you next week.